now we will talk about water pump water pipe sizing based on two methods okay one is the hayes and william and another one is darcy west batch formula okay if you go if you go to international plumbing code okay how to calculate the pump head calculation they have given the small notes here right how to calculate the friction loss through the each length of the pipe you have to calculate the friction loss through each length of the pipe clear right say for example one of the one of the schematic diagram where you have a water tank and you have a booster pump okay this booster pump is serving to say for example it's serving to all the way to the fixtures on the top of the floor right so you have a each and every length of the pipe right there are straight pipes okay uh, there is a horizontal pipe there is a vertical pipe and going to the fixture so each and every length of the pipe you will calculate okay and how to calculate let me tell you so based on the system pressure loss the sum of which must not exceed the minimum pressure available at the main street or the other source of supply so when you calculate the pump head okay whatever the pressure in the in the projector that should be higher than your pump selection okay say for example your pump head is 2.1 psi then you you should select pump for 2.5 psi okay so that is what this meaning okay then the pipe sizing is based on estimated peak demand total pressure loss caused by difference in elevation that mean say for example this is open system right it is not a closed system like chilled water supply okay this is open system so you have to calculate the static head okay and equipment developed length and pressure required at most remote fixtures okay then the what is the pressure required at most remote fixture that you have to calculate loss through the tapes in water main loss through fittings filter backflow prevention devices valves and pipe friction so that all should be considered in the calculation part clear right so then only you can able to calculate the pump head if you go to one of the one of the equipment schedule you can see the pump head in head in meter right so 125 meter so how they calculated they calculated for each fittings each pipe length static pressure and the foremost fixture pressure required at that particular fixture and the residual, residual pressure okay so the, so summation of all this it will you will get the total pressure so that is nothing but pump head calculations okay i will show you one of the sample example okay for the for one of the project okay where you can see there is a pump okay the pump is not visible uh, not shown here uh, you can see starting from water pump water tank to the to the wash basin okay so you have a straight pipes then you have a elbow then you have a straight pipe then you have a elbow straight pipe elbow then it comes here there is a riser vertical pipe right then you have a horizontal pipe then you have a horizontal pipe going to all the fixtures right then it goes to the foremost fixture see here also you have a fixture but the, the foremost you have a fixture so this is the longest path is everyone clear right one of the diagram you can see one of the diagram you can prepare the schematic then you can able to get the orientation from from water tank to the to the last last fixtures is everyone clear the the arrangement eldos areas okay one of the one of the one of the layout okay where the where your you have a pump system say for example if i go to one of the schematic okay this is the water tank right from the water tank you have a straight pipe then it goes to the booster pump then from the booster pump it goes straight away all the way to top of the floor with and serving to the fixtures okay so that small schematic i have prepared here that's go small schematic is prepared here right okay so it's a 3d diagram okay for the cold water supply starting from g to f f to e everything okay now we are going to calculate the pressure drop for each and every fittings okay so if you go to ipc standard there is a chart for each and every pipes right so if you talk about this one there is a copper pipe okay if you talk about this one there is a copper pipe so here if you go directly directly the chart okay assume that this is the fairly smooth pipe we are using okay and what is the velocity recommended velocity 4 to 8 feet per second right so this is the velocity and you can able to calculate the flow rate so when you go to the flow rate and when you go to the intersection of the velocity you can able to calculate the pipe size right this is the pipe size this is the gpm line this is the pressure drop this is the velocity line and this is the diameter of the pipe okay so you can able to calculate the flow rate with the corresponding velocity 
then you can able to calculate the pressure drop and also you can able to calculate the size of the pipe is everyone clear yes sir okay now how this value came the pressure drop this is based on the two equations one is hessen one is the hessen william equation okay you can see that equations here you can talk about f equal to 0.208 to multiply by 100 divided by c multiply by 1.85 multiply by q power of 1.85 divided by d power of 4.865 by using this equation you can able to calculate friction head feet of liquid per 100 feet of pipe okay you have a different equations different equation for different units either you can calculate in feet or you can calculate in psi or you can calculate in meter or you calculate in bar okay but this is the procedure so everyone clear right this is the hessen william formula okay similarly you can able to calculate the pressure drop by using other formula which is darcy wedge-wedge formula the here also it is given directly here hf equal to f multiplied by l by d multiplied by v square by 2g okay so you can see hf is nothing but friction head loss p equal to friction head loss psi f is coefficient of friction l, l is the length of the pipe d is inside diameter okay but you no need to do the calculation every time okay so this is by using the equation they are able to calculate the friction law friction drop right so you no need to calculate every time you have a, you can use that ipc standard chart okay this in this standard chart you can able to by calculating the value you can able to get the the friction loss per psi per 100 feet of length okay so this is what if you go to here you can able to see this chart right say for example you have a cold water pressure drop from a to g this is what we have seen in the picture so a to b b to c c to d okay d to e each and every line right and what is the pipe size this pipe size we calculated based on the 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 chart right based on the velocity based on the flow rate we calculated okay then what is the pressure drop also we calculated from the chart itself what is the pressure drop per 100 feet 22.1 Okay, and what is the pipe length? 19.46. And you are going to convert into feet because it, this is in feet value. So when you calculate the pipe loss, okay, the major losses, pipe loss, major losses in PSI. Okay, you are converting this value into this value. You are converting into this is PSI per 100 feet, right? This is per 100 feet. Okay, this is the total feet. Like uh, for 100 feet, you have pressure drop is 22.1 for 63.84 the pressure drop will be calculated accordingly it is 14.108 okay then you have a elbow then you have a t okay if you go to ipc standard they have given you the equivalent size you can see the equivalent length for all the fittings okay the 45 degree is nothing but if you go to with the 1 inch, 1 1.8 times of the straight pipe. Okay, 90 degree elbow, 3 times of the straight pipe. Globe valve is 25 times of the straight pipe. Okay, say for example, if I have a straight pipe, okay, of 1 meter, if I go with the elbow or, or globe valve, that globe valve is equivalent to 25 pipe of each length. Okay, so this is the equivalent length calculation. So whatever you have a pipes, go to this particular chart, take that equivalent length and put it in this chart here. This chart here. What is the elbow? What is the how many, how many elbows here? Four elbow. How many T's? Four T. So e equivalent length for the elbow, equivalent length for the T will be approximate 15.60. Then you are going to calculate the pressure loss in PSI. Like 15.6 uh, feet, what is the pressure drop? So this is the value. So when you add total value will be total pipe loss plus fitting loss will be the total losses. So you are going to calculate like that for from A to B, P to C, C to D till F to G. So you will getting you will be getting the total pressure drop here. Okay. Then what is that other one? Your total building height will be 12.5. This is the static pressure, static head. So the pressure mm -hmm. head will be 12.5 meter of head okay then converting this value will be from whatever the converting pressure head so this value you are convert, converting into psi this is in meter this is converting into psi right 
okay so minimum pressure required at last fixture what is the last fixture pressure that you are going to calculate here so that is already given in the ipc standard if you go to further previous table there is a chart for each and every fixtures what is the pressure drop required okay that that is the minimum required pressure at last fixture okay then the total cold water friction pressure drop clear right then when you when you add all the pressure drop you will get total this much pressure drop so this is the 48 psi so either it is, in, is this can be in psi or this can be in feet or this can be in meter or this can be in bar everything is the same okay only the unit unit is different so if you go to this one it is in psi right so how many psi is one bar 14 point 85 psi is nothing but one bar okay mm -hmm. so that is the way you can convert from psi to bar okay so approximately if i see this one it will be like uh, 48 divided by uh, 14 okay i can tell you that approximate how many bar 48 divided by 14 point say for example 5 so approximate you have a 3.3 bar okay so this is the way to calculate your pressure pump head for the water booster pump 